Let's say that you need to concatenate or join text together from cells, such as here in cell A2 and B2. One way to do this is to use the text join function. I'm going to put the answer in cell E2, so I left click on cell E2. Next, type in an equal sign, then type in the letters T, E, and a drop down box will appear. In the box, left double click on text join. Next, we need to put in a delimiter or a separator to go between the text strings of the first and last names. To do this, I'm going to type in quotation marks, then a space, then another quotation marks. So Excel is reading what is between these quotation marks, which is a space. Next, we need to type in a comma. From here, we need to type in true or false to tell the function whether or not to ignore empty cells that may be between the cells we want to join together. In this case, we don't have any empty cells between, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to type in true, and I'll show how this affects the output in a minute in a different example. Next, we type in a comma, and from here, we need to reference the cells, A2 and B2. I'm going to left click and hold on cell A2, then drag over cell B2, so both cells are highlighted, then release the click and hold. Next, we type in a close parentheses to close off the function, then hit the enter key, and we have the text Bill Smith in our answer cell. A few more examples explaining the arguments in the function. In row 3 are the names of some animals. In cell E3, I have the text join function without a delimiter or a separator of the text, as there is an open parenthesis, then a comma. I hit the enter key, and you can see we have all of the names strung together. Now in row 4, same type of example, except the separator between the quotation marks is a comma, then a space. I hit the enter key, and we have a comma and a space between the names. Here in row 5, there is an empty cell. In the function, I have true to ignore empty cells. I hit the enter key, and we have a nice clean answer. Now in row 6, same words, and in the function I have false. I hit the enter key, and in the output, Excel put in the separator, a comma, and a space for the empty cell. A couple of notes. If you use this function with dates, such as in row 7, I hit enter and it outputs numbers, which is how Excel deals with dates behind the scenes. You can also use this function with numbers as you see in row 8. And if you want to join text in different rows, as you see in this example, when we put in the reference cells, we left click on the first cell, cell A10, then type in a comma, then left click on the next cell, cell B11, then type in a close parenthesis, then hit the enter key, and we have our answer of Karen Jones. One last thing, if we delete the values in the reference cells, as you see here, we lose the values in the output cells. So what we want to do is copy and paste the values, as you see I'm doing on the screen. Now if I delete the values in the reference cells, it doesn't affect the outputs column. Alright my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.